In this segment, I would like to say a bit about sleeves. In the first course, we will be working with several different sleeves and we use the armhole measurements of the garment to create the sleeve. The basic sleeves that we'll be using are the straight sleeve, the straight sleeve with an elbow dart, that will come later, the two-piece sleeve, and the raglan sleeve. Now let me show you the samples that we will be using, or the garments that will use these particular sleeves and the variations. The straight sleeve we actually use for this little blue blouse. This is drafted from the straight sleeve, but it has a shaped hem with a facing. We also will be doing a three-quarter sleeve from this particular draft. It's shaped a little bit different down here, but the same up here. In this particular blouse, we do the three-quarter and we'll be doing it with a cuff, a fold-up cuff, and the little slit on the cuff. The elbow dart, we may not do for a while, but eventually we will. And I'm going to show you a garment that I made many years ago. This is a wonderful silk little coat. It's about um, right below the knee coat. And this little sleeve has, it's about, it's, it's a wrist length. It has two elbow darts and that gives you a nice bend in the sleeve. The two-piece sleeve we will do when we get to suits and coats. This jacket I made many years ago, about 24 or five years ago, and it has the two-piece sleeve. I also did it in the little half-scale coat that's on our introductory page. And you see there's the two-piece sleeve, the underneath piece, and the over sleeve. The raglan sleeve, we will learn when we get to coats, and it's on this little half scale that, again, I made for the introductory page. Now, what they all have in common, other than the arm, is the cap. And I want to discuss why we have different height caps and so forth. So let's go and first of all, look at the components of the sleeve and how we come up with the different shaped caps. This is the basic sleeve. I'm going to put it on this other paper so you can see it a little bit better. And let me discuss with you these different components. We have the entire cap, also called the arm sigh, A-R-M-S-C-Y-E. It is the armhole measurement. And um, we also have the cap height. We have the body of the sleeve. This is the overarm length, and this is the underarm length. I'd like to show you, and of course we have the shoulder notch. I'd like to show you the same measurements for the armhole, but a shorter cap. I use the same armhole measurements, but with a four inch cap rather than a six inch cap. And now I'd like to discuss why we have different caps and different widths for the bicep. If the garment is being worn with garments under it, for instance, the coat. I have a deeper cap and of course a deeper armhole and the, the garment, the sleeve is roomy but it's not massively big. It's big enough to fit a blouse under. When we have a casual shirt, we usually have a shorter armhole. Look at the, the, the angle that this goes off the shoulder. And now let's look at the angle of the jacket. 
I'm not forcing these. See, that's laying flat and that's laying flat. And you can see this is a shorter cap. The way you find the cap is, um, just so you'll understand this, you go to the underarm and you square it up to this area. So if I go to the underarm and square that up, that's about three inches of the cap. And if I go to the underarm here and square up, we're going to find that's about seven. So the cap determines the cap height using the same measurements, changes the width of the sleeve, and we need to think about what we're wearing, if it's being worn alone or with something else, and also what kind of fabrics we're going to be using. We'll go into this in much more detail as we learn these sleeves. This will give you a general idea of why we have different height caps and different widths. This, of course, the bicep line has to fit around the bicep of the arm. So if you're wearing, for instance, a leotard, you'll have a very, very short cap because you want that sleeve to come way under the arm and you'll also draft it to have a very tight sleeve. Whereas something like a um, basic shirt sleeve or jacket will have a deeper cap and it'll have enough room to, for the arm to move and for any fabrics to be worn under it. So there you have it. We'll take this into much more detail as we go through the course, but this will give you an idea of the cap height and the bicep width and the general idea of what a sleeve does. If you liked this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and spread the word.